Hello and welcome to California Hard Knock Tech. This is Zach and today I'm going to show you how to adjust the valves on your 125cc kicker hard knock. Okay, so here's the tools that we're going to be using today. Uh, first you're going to need a flat head screwdriver, 17mm and 9mm box wrench, a set of pliers, needle nose pliers, I like to use my little stubby uh, regular pliers, socket wrench with a 5 8 uh, spark plug socket, 15 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, set of feeler gauges, uh, 0 0.005 and 0 0.006. We're using 0 0.005 for the intake, 0 0.006 for the exhaust. A little trick I like to do is wrap a little bit of electrical tape around the tip of the screwdriver and uh, the box end of the 17 millimeter wrench protects the paint a little bit. Okay, first thing we need to do is go ahead and remove the spark plug cable. Be your 5 8 spark plug socket. Now you want to do this on a cold motor. Uh, hot motor is not going to help you out any. Uh, when you adjust these valves you're going to want to be on top dead center. A uh, real easy way to do that if you're unsure go ahead and do this step. Um, basically you're going to be removing this 10 millimeter socket right here. Or I'm sorry, uh, bolt. Now this connects, let me show you what I'm doing here. Um, this actually holds that plate on um, <clears throat> and as you back out this bolt what you're going to want to do is reach around the other side and hold that plate um, so the bolt's going to come out make sure you don't lose the little washer right there okay and there's your, the plate from the other side um, as you can see, the uh, plate has been removed uh, with your timing chain inside there. Uh, next step we're going to do is we're going to remove the uh, tapper covers. And the top one's going to be your intake, and the lower one is going to be your exhaust. Uh, 17 millimeter box wrench, we'll take those right off. Okay. Now, the next step, and you're going to see this flathead screw on the cover plate. Go ahead and remove that. Right up here, you're going to see one on the top. Um, also has a flathead screw. Basically, that's your inspection or viewing window. Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove that as well. Inside there is a 15 millimeter nut. And crank that. Basically, that's going to be turning your crankshaft. And you can see through the viewing window. You're going to basically move this around keep turning it until you get to a little line with the T. Okay, so now we're at that little line and you're going to see a T off to the upper right of the line. Okay, so now you think you're at top dead center. You go over here to check, you see the little marking and that's facing the back of the motor. That's wrong. Uh, basically you're not on the compression stroke. So we're going to go ahead and make one more complete turn 360 degrees. Now we know if we get to that same line with a little T next to it, there we go. Okay, a little line with the T. Kind of passed it a little bit there. Go ahead and line that up. Alright. Now we go back over here and check. Now you'll see the little dot is near the the marking um, on the the hole for the plate. Um, if it's not directly on the line, you want it to be slightly above. Um, but right here is fine. Slightly up, it's about a half tooth up. Um, if you can't have it dead on, half tooth up is going to be the ticket. Okay, so now we're on top dead center. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is take your 9mm box wrench. You're going to loosen up this retaining nut in there. Um, basically, this is going to be two parts. You got the uh, nut and a little threaded rod. Uh, the threaded rod has a little square tip on the end and when you loosen it up then you can start loosening up the threaded rod. You're going to notice that there will be a gap at the bottom of that post that will develop. Okay so now we're going to go ahead and adjust the valves. Um, again like I said we're going to be using a .005. Um, you're going to slide that into the little gap that that threaded rod created by backing it out. Uh, now you're just going to go ahead and just turn on that little square head of the threaded rod 
Um, you're going to get that down hand tight. A little tension on there. Uh, basically, you're going to want to uh, be able to feel that it's sliding in there. That's pretty good. We'll go ahead and hand tighten that down. Okay, you can see you can still move it. It's not too tight. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and start turning down this little lock nut on there. Next step is you're going to put your 9mm box wrench on there. And you want to hold that little square tip with a pair of pliers. You don't want it to get any tighter. And we're just going to tighten it up using the box wrench like so. Okay. Now we're good and you can see we still got um, it's still able to slide but you can definitely feel the tension on it. Okay now we're going to go ahead and move down to the exhaust valve uh, which is going to be on the lower part. I'm going to go ahead and move you there. Okay so now we're on the exhaust side and basically it's going to be the same thing. Uh, the big difference is going to be uh, with the exhaust you're going to use a .006. You can actually go a couple of different sizes. Uh, this seems to be about in the middle really. Uh, but don't be afraid to uh, adjust your valves to different clearances to see if the, the performance uh, increases. Uh, your 9mm box wrench on there. You're just going to loosen that up a little bit. Okay, let me get it out of your way there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and loosen that nut up there. Uh, now, we're going to loosen up that threaded rod. Kind of hard to see, I know I'm blocking you there. Um, but that just gets loosened up. Now, as you can see, we got a lot of play. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the pliers to uh, twist that down, but you're going to want to use your hands. It's going to be hand tight. I'm going to just do this so you can see what I'm doing without my big goofy hand blocking. Um, but that just gets hand tight on there. Um, feels pretty good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start tightening down a little retaining nut there. Uh, you're going to tighten it down the same way. You're going to put your 9mm box wrench on there. You're going to hold the pin with your pliers. Needle nose pliers or some small pliers work well. Now, you're also going to check and make sure that it's able to slide still. Okay. Now, you just slide that out. And you just want to take a little rag and clean that off a little bit there. And we're just going to screw that down. And same for the top cover. You're going to see a little tab on the bottom of the plate. That's going to rest on this side of the little nub. So we're going to slide it on there and turn it over to there. We're going to go put a couple of turns on that to hold it in place. Okay, so while we're still on this side, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to put these covers back on. Uh, you got the big cover right here, flathead screw. Snug it down. And we're going to do same thing with this top one, the inspection or viewing window. And that's getting tight. Okay. Um, now while we're also over on this side, we're going to go ahead and uh, tighten up these tap covers. Okay. They don't need to be real tight, but you don't want to make them too loose either. Okay, so now we're back on the spark plug side of things. Uh, again, hold the plate and I hold it and kind of turn it to make sure that it stays on that little nub I was telling you about. And then we're just going to go ahead and tighten this down. Let's tighten down. Okay, good there. Now we're going to go ahead and thread your spark plug back in. Hand tie it in. Spark plug socket. We're going to go ahead and cinch that down. And we're going to pop that off. And we're going to go ahead and Hook up your spark plug cable, and you have just completed your valve adjustment on a 125 kicker hard knock. Congratulations, now go ride it.